Hello all, welcome to part 14 of TestNG training series. In this session, I am going to explain and practically demonstrate how to enable or disable the test methods which are provided with at the rate test annotation using enabled attribute and at the rate ignore annotation. There are multiple ways for enabling or disabling the test methods using test ng enabled attribute or at the rate ignore annotation that I'm going to practically demonstrate in this session. So let's get started. So we can enable disable the test methods using enabled attribute or ignore method. There are multiple ways. Let's go with the first way of, okay? First way of uh, enabling or disabling the test methods using this enabled attribute. Before that guys, I'll open this Eclipse IDE where we have this login.java having one of the test method and here we have the testng.xml file, which is referring to that particular test method. Okay. Verify user login with valid credentials. Here also in the login.java, we have verify user login with valid credentials. If I run this testng.xml file, okay, if I run this testng.xml file, then you see the test will run. Okay. First, see that before I apply that enabled attribute or at the rate ignore annotation, you see the test is running fine. Right? See, test run one, pass it one. So what if I go to the login.java and beside this at the rate test annotation of this particular test method, I'll provide circular brackets. And here I'll say enabled is equal to, should not provide double quotes here. Directly you have to say false. If you say true means it is enabled only, but if you say false by default, anyhow it is true only, right? If you provide or not, but if you provide false, this will be, okay, this test method will not be executed that means it will be disabled from execution so save this and right click on the testng.xml file and run as testng suit this time the test will not run you will get you see test run is equal to zero passes is equal to zero failure is equal to zero skip that means it got disabled from execution what if i make it true here this time it will run right click run as testng suit by default anyhow enabled is called true you don't have to specifically mention that but if you say enabled is equal to false beside the editor test annotation of the test method, then it will not run. Okay, so hope you got the idea. So there's one more way that is by using the at the rate ignore. Okay, annotation. What we have to do is I'll remove this part and on the top of the at the rate test method, at the rate test annotation, I'll write at the rate ignore. A simple annotation, guys. Okay, looks like it is already. Uh, one minute, let me remove this and say control shift O. Now let me write at the rate ignore so that it'll ask for importing. So it'll ask you to import this ignore from test engine annotations. Okay, I imported that. Once you have added this at the rate ignore on the top of the at the rate test annotation of this test method, same result you will get. Run the testng.xml file, the test will be disabled from execution. It will not run. It will be ignored, guys. That means it will be ignored from execution, so it will not get executed. Again, if I remove the at the rate ignore okay now it will run okay now the test will run right click run as test engine so the test will run now because we are removing the at the rate ignore from the top of the at the rate test annotation okay the test will run now so this is how we can disable the execution of the test methods either by using the enabled attribute that we can write beside the test annotation or we can mention at the rate ignore annotation on the top of at the rate test annotation and still we can disable the test from execution Okay, these are the multiple ways of enabling or disabling the test methods using enabled attribute or at the rate ignore annotation in test ng. So hope guys you understood how to enable disable the test methods using enabled attribute and at the rate ignore annotation in test ng. So that's all for this session. The next session I'm going to cover another topic on test ng. Till then see you bye bye.